Hey everyone, this is Phil Ebener from VideoSchoolOnline.com and today we are going to be looking at how baseball works and this is part of a complete course diving into how to watch baseball and how to become a fan of baseball and everything you need to know about how baseball works but this is just a quick overview and it might get a little crazy but let's get straight to it. Okay, so the basic premise of the game is that you have two teams that each have nine players and whoever scores the most runs wins. So runs are like points. How is it set up? Well, the defense plays out in the field and they are situated in the field like so. Now they can move around a little bit, but this is basically where they stand. You have your outfielders in the outfield, left field, center field, right field, and then you have your players in the infield. So first base, second base, third base and shortstop in the middle between third base and second base. So that's another good point is that this is first base, this is second base, this is third base, and this is home plate. Okay. So now that's the defense. The offense, one at a time, they go up to the plate, home plate, and they are trying to bat. They are trying to hit the ball into the field and they are trying to get on base so if they hit the ball say they hit the ball into the field they are able to run to first base okay so they have to run to first base touch first base and then only after they touch first base they can run to second base and then after they touch second base to third after they touch third base they can go home and if they get, get all the way to home they score a run or a point okay but it's not so easy because while you're hitting the ball into the outfield well first of all the pitcher is throwing 95 to 100 mile per hour fastballs past you and it's really hard to to hit they throw balls that curve that spin that dip duck fly do crazy things and so it's first of all it's hard to hit the ball so they're trying to hit, get you out and if they get the ball past you at the right spot or you swing and miss three times that's an out but say you do hit it in the outfield the players are trying to catch the ball and then throw it to first base before you get there or to whatever base that you are going to, to and they're trying to get the ball there before you. So either they get the ball to the base before you or they tag you with the ball. So if they have the ball in their glove or in their hand, they can tag you with it and you are out. Now there's lots of different rules uh, that go into this and there's different ways of getting people out and it's not always the case that they just have to get the ball to the base before you and then there will be, be an out but that's going into too much detail for this quick overview so meanwhile the defense is trying to get you out and if they get three outs then that means they get to go up to bat and they get to try to hit and score runs okay so that's basically the premise of baseball the sport now let's talk about the game for a minute the game is divided into nine innings okay so you have one two three four five six seven eight and nine nine innings they're basically like periods it's just segmenting the game in a way that makes sense and in each inning there are two halves one where the offense is on or one where one team is on offense and the other where the other team is on offense it changes from one inning to one half inning to the next half inning when one team the team that's on defense gets three outs okay and until they get three outs your team can bat and get on base get hits and score runs at the end of the game the score is tallied and whoever has more runs wins the game if the game is tied after nine innings, you keep playing until whoever scores more at the end of a full inning wins. 
All right, now, for those of you who know baseball, you know there's a lot more rules that basically erase everything I just said or their addendums and different situations that change everything, but this is the basics of baseball. I hope you enjoyed this chalkboard lesson. If you want more of this and you want to dive deeper into the sport of baseball, continue watching my free lessons and please check out the full course. You can find out more on the YouTube channel, you can find it out more on videoschoolonline.com or my Udemy profile page. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.